Before operating this tool, determine exactly what needs to be tapped into. Ensure that it is indeed the pipe that requires tapping. Consider not only the best route for the new line, but also the effect that any chips from the tapping operation could have on downstream equipment. Consider the orientation of the tap. Tapping on top of the pipe may drop chips into the tap pipe, whereas tapping at the bottom of the pipe will tend to drop the chips back into the tools. Use of the bleed valve assembly will tend to wash away most of the chips if open during the entire drilling operation. Determine whether a service saddle or a weld in place thread olet or weld olet will be used to mount the valve to the main. Consider the advantages and disadvantages of each type. See page 4 of your operator's manual for further information. The inch hex while continually applying pressure by turning the sleeve. For this demonstration, we are using a low RPM right angle drill. Warning! Electric drill should not be used for natural gas applications. Use proper grounding and a GFI at all times. Do not apply too much pressure on the cutter and pipe with the feed screw. Light even pressure applied with the feed will produce superior cutting characteristics and help extend cutter life. Warning: Excessive feed may result in pilot drill and cutter damage or possible injury to the operator. Continue to drill through the main until no resistance is felt when advancing the feed. At this point, the pilot drill has penetrated the main. The valve and the tool are now filled with the media from the pipe. Advance the sleeve until the cutter comes into light contact with the main. Then back up the sleeve one turn. Resume turning the shaft and advance the cutter as before until the tap is finished. Stop immediately. Continuing past this point could possibly penetrate the far side of the pipe. Open the bleed valve to wash away chips and the confirmed tap is successful and close the valve. Remove the ratchet or power tool from the hex on the drive shaft. Turn the sleeve counterclockwise until all the threads of the feed screw are exposed and the sleeve comes to a halt. This action has fully retracted the cutter and the coupon. Close the valve. Should it be difficult to close the valve, open the bleed valve again, wash away as many remaining chips as possible. Ensure that the ball valve is closed before proceeding. Secure the valve to prevent it from disconnecting as the tool is unscrewed. Be prepared for the tool to suddenly come free, for it may spill out any media it contains. If the drill pipe was dry, be aware that the cutter may be hot. The new service may now be attached to the outlet end of the valve.